Hey guys, this is Elaheim. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, I wanted to make sort of a post Overwatch stream video for you guys and just kind of cover uh, a lot of things in general. I saw there were some, uh, there's a lot of posts in the YouTube, uh, on the YouTube video. Uh, there's also some posts on Reddit and everything. I'm just kind of uh, talk about myself, talk about the blizzard trip, talk about some of the feedback. Um, I'll be talking about Team Fortress too, don't worry. And uh, uh, just give you guys just a basic uh, overview of things. So um, I guess I'll start at the beginning. I'm Elaheim. I've been streaming on Twitch for about two, a little over two years now. Uh, I stream at about 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, Eastern time, so uh, not a lot of people get to see my stream in the US. Uh, most of my crowd comes from EU, uh, but we have a great community over there. Um, the you know One of the, the biggest critiques uh, that people get when they're like, I don't know who this guy is, why did they choose him? You know, I, I wanna start off by saying that I, I want to, I know that, that there are uh, just as deserving uh, gamers and streamers out there that could have very well been in my place, okay? And especially with the streamers, I wanted you to know that I really do truly sympathize with you guys, um, especially those that have, have played a lot of Blizzard games, like that's all they do. Uh, I know some of you felt like you got shafted a little bit, uh, but I, I don't think that Blizzard this time with this opportunity wanted uh, a typical Blizzard streamer. I think they wanted somebody who was kind of loosely connected and I think they wanted to appeal to a new audience. Um, so I know I can feel like, you know, like going into work and you're busting your ass every day and then they like hire some dude, you know, who hasn't, you feel like he hasn't put in the time and all that stuff. And I can sympathize with that. But um, uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of history about uh, me with Blizzard. Um, I've been a huge Blizzard fan for many, 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 many years. Um, I've been a, a fan of Blizzard a lot longer than I've had close personal friends. Uh, uh, when I was growing up, um, my family was like super hardcore Christian. I was homeschooled and stuff. And um, basically, I remember being in the, uh, I, I don't remember what computer store it was at the time, but I had uh, Warcraft Orcs and Humans and I wanted to play it so bad and I showed my mom and she made a deal with me. She said, if, if you don't play the Orcs because the Orcs are evil, if you just play the humans, I'll buy it for you. And of course I agreed to that and then uh, absolutely lied and started an Orc campaign in secret. Uh, that's kind of where I started out. Uh, over time, I played uh, uh, geez, uh, a large variety of, of Blizzard games. Pretty much everyone that's ever come out, except for that weird adventure Warcraft game they came out with. I don't even know what that's all about. Uh, look it up. Anyways, so um, uh, as far as Twitch is concerned, I actually got my start uh, streaming Hearthstone. Uh, I well, that's when things started to kind of take off. I was playing a lot of Hearthstone right when it came out for about six months. I was I was on a pro team, um, mostly for my name, not necessarily for skill, um, if I'm honest. And uh, yeah, I, I I played a lot of that actually, and kind of got really kind of integrated. Uh, in, what's the word? Um, integrated into that community. Uh, at, at a certain point, I think about February or March. I decided of last year, I decided that I didn't want to primarily just be a Hearthstone streamer, so I stopped cold turkey. And I started streaming a variety of games. Uh, I did that because I wanted the flexibility to play whatever. I didn't want to be stuck with one company. I didn't want to be stuck with one game. I wanted to have that 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 variety there. Uh, so anyways, uh, I, I probably still have the old, you know, thinking about the orcs and humans, I probably still have the old manual somewhere with like Chris, Chris Metzen's like old artwork and all that shit. Anyways. Um, I'm, I'm a huge Blizzard fan, and I know that a lot of you guys have been streaming it a ton, but I just want to take, take a moment and say that I sympathize with you guys, and I'm very sorry uh, that, that, you know, that you guys feel like you got shafted, but I wanted you to know that I tried very, very, very hard to do uh, the game justice, the community justice, especially uh, you guys, those who, you know, weren't given the opportunity. So, um, anyways, uh, I digress. Let's, let's talk about a little bit about the Blizzard trip. So um, I want to start out uh, by being by, by saying that I how am I going to say this? There's no other way to say it. I wasn't paid. OK, uh, I want to be very transparent about that. Blizzard gave me no money. Blizzard did fly me out and set me up in a hotel and they paid for my meals. Uh, that's pretty much basic business. OK, but they did not pay me for that stream that I did. And you guys can believe me or not, but um, I'm very transparent about it. I have no problem letting people know when I do a paid gig. Uh, it's not a big deal for me. Um, and for maybe the more logical of you out there, uh, I think 
the I think if they wanted to pay somebody, they probably would have grabbed a, a streamer of a little bit higher caliber than myself. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to make that clear that I wasn't I wasn't paid. Um, Tuesday, uh, let's talk a little bit about Tuesday. So the idea was that uh, I was going to fly in Monday. Tuesday, I would be uh, with a with a big group of people. We would preview the game. Wednesday, I would practice, and then uh, Thursday, I would do the stream. So Tuesday, we did a, a tour of the facility. It was incredible. Holy crap! If you guys are Blizzard fans. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's kind of unrealistic. Just, I don't, I don't know if you can just go and take a tour. If you can, if you get, if you're around, uh, Irvine and, and Orange County and whatever, if you can make a stop by there and they'll let you take a tour, fuck yeah, do it. It is amazing. That place is incredible. Um, but anyways, uh, we did a little tour and we saw some cool stuff and then, uh, we went in about three o'clock and they allowed us pl uh, to play for about three hours. During that time, I probably only had maybe a little over an hour of game time during that time. I tried to allow, they only had a certain number of stations, so I tried to allow other people that didn't have the opportunity. I knew I would be playing a couple more days, so they wouldn't have that opportunity. So I, I tried to allow them to play as much as they can. I know that uh, PC Gamer was there, IGN was there, GameSpot was there. I know there were some other streamers that I know, Phantom Lord, Dingle Derper, um, and some other content creators. So industry people, content creators, uh, they were all playing the game. They went home. I stayed uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, this is what I did. Um, I've done streams like this in the past where I um, was previewing a game early for people and I made a lot of mistakes. And one of the biggest mistakes that I made is I went at it like I would a normal stream. It, it, that's not the way you're, you, you need to do it. Um, it it's, you, if you go to my regular broadcast, you're gonna see a much different broadcast than you do in that video. And there's a very calculated reason why. Because I'm not there for me, I'm there for you guys, right? Uh, so I got on the Overwatch Reddit, uh, I made a post asking for questions. I also got on some forums and asked for, for questions uh, for, for the developers for my stream. And during that seven hours, while those uh, questions were accumulating, I just played the shit out of the game. Uh, pretty much for seven hours straight with the devs, which by the way, the devs, okay, talk about like growing up with Blizzard and everything, like personal heroes and stuff like that. These guys are all like personal heroes of mine. And I found as I've done more and more with Twitch in the gaming industry, that sometimes when you meet your personal heroes, it's not necessarily the way that you think it is, and they're not necessarily the people you think they are. Uh, but I, uh, I was happily uh, surprised in this situation. Those guys are so fucking cool. Like I can't explain, I can't explain to you how cool they are. They're so down to earth. They're nice as fuck. They like to have fun. They love their game. Uh, Lee Sparks. Um, I believe he's uh, the the lead producer for Overwatch. He, I could be wrong on that. Um, he, it was it, we like we we were talking the next day, and I was like, "What did you do last night after we got done playing for seven hours?" He's like, "Oh, I went home and uh, I ended up jumping on Overwatch and playing for another three hours." Like they love their game. They eat, breathe, sleep overwatch that's just what they do and uh it was super cool to hang out with them and, and get to play with them because they've had it for so long they're very good at the game and you know obviously they created it so they understand it and uh anyways i, I kind of went on a tangent there uh so during that time that seven hours i was just trying to get as much experience as possible my idea for the stream was to give you guys sort of a, a buffet if you will of uh stream styles and information so i wanted to um, I wanted to open up screens for you guys to pause later or look at things that you guys could pause later and, and kind of uh, go over. Uh, so a lot of the video, like right at the beginning, you'll see me pop up the um, the hero abilities for, for each hero so that you guys can pause it and, and kind of go over that. I also tried to spend some time running around the maps and trying to gather as much information as I could about the, the lore and the context within the maps. Um, I tried to ask uh, pertinent questions using the Reddit questions that came up. I tried to show you guys decent uh, gameplay. I am not a pro player. You caught me. Uh, I, I, I do uh, okay. I do fairly well, but I am not some professional, you know, FPS. I'm sure you could tell from the video. Um, but I wanted to give you guys at least some good gameplay. You know, I wanted to be effective there. I wanted to do a little shout casting so that you guys kind of, uh, kind of saw saw a little bit of that and maybe it got a sort of esports theme. And I also want to show you guys the gameplay, the team compositions, and um, hear the teamwork 
uh, together. It was a lot to fit into a small amount of time, but I did the best I could. And you know, I, it was it was a big opportunity. Like that that morning, uh, again, I'm I getting a little uh, maybe too much information. But that morning, I I dude, I've I'll just say I fucking vomited, man. I was so nervous for that stream on Thursday that like I woke up and I just man, I couldn't I couldn't hold it. Uh, and that's weird for me, but like. It's such, it was such a big opportunity and I wanted to do right by by everybody so bad that I just wanted the, to just fit everything in. So anyways, I did the best I could getting everybody in uh, or getting all that information in in that small amount of time. But there were mistakes, okay? So uh, some of the feedback that I got um, was about uh, not saying Team Fortress 2 or giving any kind of nod to Team Fortress 2. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 100% honestly, I just wasn't thinking about Team Fortress 2. Like, I just, it wasn't in my head, and I i don't know why it wasn't in my head. Um, I said something specifically that I think got, uh, that irked people a little bit, especially in the TF2 community, is I said that it was unique to switch heroes in Overwatch. I was wrong. I would, did not articulate that very well in the midst of everything that I was doing. So let me, let me be clear about this. Hero switching is not unique in and of itself. Uh, we see that in Team Fortress 2, Dirty Bomb, games like that, okay? What is unique about it is that I have never seen a game uh, to date have uh, 18 vastly different heroes that you can switch on the fly and have multiples of uh, in, a whole, in, in a whole team. I have never seen something like that. So when I said that it was unique, I meant that I had just never played a game that had that level of hero switching on that big of a scale. Now, on top of that, uh, the team compositions felt unique to me as well. Yes, I understand there are, there are like uh, you know uh, synergies and stuff in uh, Team Fortress 2. I don't follow it very closely. I'm not part of the pro scene. My experience with Team Fortress 2 is I played for about six months maybe out of however many years it's been out off and on uh, over time. And it's a great game. It's a phenomenal game. But I don't see the same mechanics there that I do in Overwatch. Like there's some things like like the heavy and you know the medic heals him. Okay, that's kind of a basic, you know, synergy there. And in Overwatch, it's so much deeper and it goes to so many different levels that it just I just didn't think about it. I, and 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 that's what's unique about it. It's not only the vast number of heroes that you can switch with on the fly and they feel very different all, each hero, but also um the the amount of of composition and and synergies and intermingling that all these heroes do is something I hadn't seen not on that scale. Um, anyways, um, one of the biggest things also that I got I got criticism for was I didn't say enough bad things about the game. Um, I felt self conscious about not talking badly about the game. Like I wanted to find something about this game that I didn't like that I could bring up during my stream. I'll be honest with you guys. Everything that I found in that in in the game that that bothered me was easily countered by the devs. So, for instance, like I didn't like how disengaged and how long it took to run back to uh, the fight. Right. So you die, you respawn, you run back. Blah 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 blah. Anyways, um, sometimes, especially for slower characters like tanks uh, and some of the defensive characters, they're slow, man. And when you're, I'm like, oh my God, it's so boring running back. And so I brought that up to the developers. I was like, listen, I, I don't like this aspect of the game. And they said, well, you know, have you been playing with Lucio? Ha, you know, uh, Lucio's got a speed buff. Have you, you know, got with Symmetra? She's got a teleporter. And they really kind of opened my eyes to the fact that this is uh, a very important part of the game. The fact that these support heroes are so important is because they mitigate that time it takes to get back. And that was one of the biggest pieces of criticism. But otherwise, I mean, the game is just a solid game. It's a fucking Blizzard game. They're known for coming out with really, really, really solid material. And I just didn't find much about it that I didn't like. And that's just the honesty of it. I want, I want, I, I like I said, I almost want to be like, oh yeah, this game sucks because of this and, and, and try to balance it out because I think that looks more realistic. But the facts are that I really love the game and I, and I didn't see much wrong with it. The only bugs that I found were really trivial ones like that weren't even worth mentioning. It would just be a waste of time. Like uh, Zarya's laser beam on her, on her gun uh, doesn't break the pinatas. Like that's the biggest 
critique or the biggest bug that I saw in the game in that build that I played, honestly. Um, anyways, again, I digress. But uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did the best I could in the small amount of time that I had. Uh, I, I hope I gave you guys what you needed. If not, the game's gonna be coming out on the 27th. That's in three days. Um, I, and, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be doing a lot of content, both on my uh, Twitch channel, but also here on my YouTube. I want this to be kind of a cool place you guys can go and uh, maybe get a different perspective on some of the things that are happening in the scene. I'm gonna be keeping up with it quite a bit. So if you want to subscribe, I'm not gonna be like, subscribe, blah, blah. If you want to, uh, the button's below. Um, and I'll continue to make more feedback uh, and more videos. So this is uh, kind of my preliminary uh, video for Overwatch. It's got a lot of mistakes, and I'm probably going to look back on this and uh, <laughs> and uh, be like, God, uh, you know. But uh, thank you guys. I want to thank you guys, um, first of all, for, for coming here and watching my videos, but also uh, for supporting me and in, in, in understanding the opportunity that I had and giving me the feedback that I needed as far as questions, especially a big thank you to the the Overwatch Reddit uh, for that. So I don't know. I just want to just say thank you in general to everybody who uh, brought the uh, the Overwatch uh, stream to life, especially the devs. You guys are incredible. Uh, can't wait to play more of your game. And um, anyways, I think that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you guys in the future. Take care. Boy. Got her. There we go. There's the first hook, and she ulted. This is like, uh, if you guys have ever played Dota 2, like Enigma's, um, Enigma's uh, ultimate. I'm gonna move in here and see if I can get the kill on him. He's trying to get away. Should be able to. No, I'm reloading. He's come back to lead. 